Hello everyone, today I'll be sharing with us how to cut a perfect shoulder dart bust. Today we are going to be learning the cutting, how to pad it and also the way you are going to be sewing it. Okay, so note that this um this tutorial is not is with shoulder, not off shoulder, with shoulder. If you are interested, just keep watching. Now this starting point of the paper will be where I'll be marking my shoulder divide by 2 which is 8 i will mark my 8 inches there my shoulder is 18 l16 divide by 2 8 now from the shoulder i'm going to get my boss point 11 i will mark and i will mark my under boss 14.5 my waist 17 inches and i'll be adding 2 inches for this it will be 19 inches i'll put down all the point after putting it down i'm going to connect all the lines I will label all the lines. My boss point. I will mark my boss point. Under bust, waist, and the half length. After getting the next step, I'm going to take right now is to put my shoulder width. Um, sorry, neck width and the the depth. The neck width is going to be 3 inches, then the depth is going to be 4 and half inches. I later corrected the neck width to 3 and a half inches. The reason why I corrected it to three and a half inches is because my client is a little big or a bit big. So using three inches for her and she's not someone that normally like all this small neckline. So three and a half inches is the width and the, the depth is four and a half inches. I connected it and uh, now I'm going to be like adding our um boss pan which is the nipple to nipple and nipple to nipple is nine inches divided by two is going to be four and a half inches so on this boss point i'm going to mark four and a half inches then on the under boss i'm going to be marking four inches from the under boss down to the half length remember 4.5 on the boss point four inches from the under boss waist and the half length i'll connect it this way so i just wanted to make a print sense of that look now on this um shoulder starting from where the neck uh, started or uh, end i will get the midpoint starting from the place i mark the neckline like so and i'll divide it i'll get the midpoint of the remaining shoulder there i'll divide it by two then connect it from the boss point to the shoulder. I just divided what um, the remaining part of the shoulder by two and connect it like this. Now on this under boss, I'm going to mark two inches from the under boss. I will mark out two inches like so. Then I'll take the two inches down to the waist and to the half length. I'll connect. I'll use my French curve to curve it out from the boss point. Look at the way I place my French curve. I'll connect it to give it that curvy shape, but not too curvy. You can see how it looks. Now, from the shoulder where we get the midpoint, I am going to go out with um two inches. You can use two and a half inches. But I'll be using uh, 2 inches. Then from this midpoint, I will go out with 2 inches. 
so what i have here is two inches i will mark then i'm going to again use my french curve placing it this way making sure that it's getting to the two inches on the shoulder i'm trying to arrange and place this french curve very well so i'll connect so you make sure that yours is touching that two inches on the shoulder i just connected it you can see the way the shape looks so now um i have tampered with the two inches on the shoulder i'm going to go out from that same shoulder putting back the two inches i i um i deducted from the shoulder then on the boss point i'm going to like go up with two inches to get my chest line you know we have not gotten our chest line so i'll go up with two inches to get my chest line and i'll connect it straight to the shoulder line now i'll mark my chest line then i'll come down with one inch for the shoulder slope or shoulder slant divide whatever i have on the armhole by two go in with half an inch then connect the armhole So like I said earlier, I said um, the two inches um, that we mark on the shoulder, I, I put it back. The two inches we deducted on the shoulder, I put it back. From there, we connect our chest line and draw our arm hole. Now I'm going to be putting um, my measurements, my bust divided by four. Then on the under boss, I'll mark, sorry, on the boss point, I'll add my 2 inches seam allowance. Under boss, divide by 4. Then I'll add back the 2 inches. Remember the 2 inches I remove. I'll add it back plus the 2 inches seam allowance, making 4 inches. I'll mark it there. Same thing goes with um, the waist measurements. I'll divide it by 4. Put the same allowance plus the two inches under that leg four inches i'll mark so whatever i have on the waist i'm going to bring it down on the half length after that i'm going to connect all the lines After connecting the lines, I will share the place I'm going to be cutting out. Like this particular place, the dart leg is the place I will be cutting out when I am done. I'll mark my shoulder slant. I'm just trying to cross check everything is ready now I'm going to go ahead and cut I didn't film the back of this top you can use your normal back measurements use your straight darts and cut your back just the way we normally cut our basic body gown or top just use it like that and cut out your back all right i'll call the armhole the shoulder slope Then the dart leg. Well, 
so while cutting this on um on the fabric i'm going to add half an inch for the joining part because we divided our nipple to nipple by two and um we didn't add any same allowance to it so while cutting it on the fabric i'm going to add half an inch to it so this is it guys you can see how it's looking so i'm going to take it like this and place it on my fabric to cut it out now i have folded my fabric up you can see it i folded it and this is the line the half an inch i added for the joining on this part remember that my fabric is on fold i folded into two and uh, i add half an inch for the sewing for the joining now i'm um, we cut now i'm done with the front the side um the center part here is the side and remember that this side is going to be two i folded my fabric into two you can see it and i've gone ahead and add the half an inch you can see it with the chalk i marked out So you can see the advantage of drafting on a paper you will not waste too much of your fabric and everything will be looking beautiful even if you make a mistake it's going to be on the paper now i'm done with the front so i'm going to open it up for us to see what it looks like here is the center part so remember to notch not your center line and the damp part. So this is what it looks like. And um, it's still on fold. I'm going to be opening it up. Just to arrange it the way it's supposed to be. If you don't want to put a uh, pad into this, you can just go ahead and join it starting from the damp part but i'll be adding a, uh, will be padding it up so you can see all the not notches i make from my boss points under boss notches so here is the padding i'll be using i'm using a light wording for this and remember that this wording has a gumming part Here is my under bust. This wording is one inch above the chest line. From the under bust, I place it like so. So the wording is sitting perfectly on the under bust, and the, from the neckline is two point three inches away. You can see the dart on the side wording. It's on the chest line, one inch above the chest line. And you see the way I curved it out. So I'm going to be ironing it on my fabric. Then I'll come back to show us how to join. Now I'm done joining the uh, side parts, one of the side parts. And you can see how beautiful the, the cup is sitting. Um, This is how you are going to join the next one when you place your fabric 
your padding fabric like this right side facing right side and make sure you pin the shoulder up then i'm going to start stitching sewing from this down part to the shoulder point i'll run a stitch starting from the down part to the shoulder after joining it i'm come back to show us the final look guys this is the final look of this um shoulder that bust here eh? isn't this beautiful please if you like this tutorial just give it a thumbs up if you have any question just drop it on the comment section thank you very much bye for now